We're inching towards spring, slowly but surely. The days are getting longer and the nights shorter. Today, I'm sharing five wardrobe essentials you want to have in your spring closet. It's all coming up next at Style at a Certain Age. Hi ladies, it's Beth. Thanks so much for stopping by today. And if this is your first time visiting, I always wish a very warm welcome. Hit the subscription box so you don't miss any videos coming your way and the notification bell. If you're looking for more style inspiration, I have channels over on Facebook and Instagram and a lovely lifestyle blog, styledocertainage.com, where we have health and wellness and beauty tips and recipes and cocktails and my German Shepherd Oscar. Today we're talking all things spring and I rounded up, I think it's five of uh, spring essentials. You may question one, but hang with me once we get into the video. But I did just want to answer a question because I get so many people come over and ask me, Beth, where can I find, you know, like the blouse I'm wearing or what I'm talking about in the video. So it's very, very easy. There's a description box down below and if you just click the read more, That'll just open up the box and then you'll find all the links and my social channels and you know whatever else is necessary pertaining to this video. So that's how you find like, what I'm wearing and uh, anything and everything on any video. So spring essentials. I love this time of year because I think we can all agree we're ready to retire our boots and our bulky sweaters and our heavy coats and uh, that's with any season it's just we're, we're tired of one wardrobe and we're really ready to morph into the next one so today i rounded up as i said five spring essentials and my very first one and this might be the one that you may not agree with me so hang in there but it's a jumpsuit yes a jumpsuit and guess what everybody is going to object to I know, I know. Everybody always comes along when I wear a jumpsuit and they're like, how in the heck do you go to the bathroom? Well, you do it just like normal. It just takes a little bit of extra time. So, and it also depends on what kind of a jumpsuit that you're wearing. Some have buttons, you know, some have zippers, some are a little easier to get in and out of, but I'm showing some examples. One is from Everlane, absolutely adore this. So they actually call this a boiler suit. So it's a little oversized and why I like an oversized jumpsuit is because you really can transition that between seasons. So I've actually taken this exact boiler suit and I put a long tee underneath it just to give a, an extra layer of warmth. Or when the temps actually heat up, then you just pull that out. You can roll the sleeves up. You can you know, roll the pant legs up, put sandals, a cute belt, and you are, you know, you're ready to roll out the door. So the boiler suit is really one of my favorite jumpsuits. And I also have another one. This was a couple of years old and it's a denim one. And I absolutely adore anything denim, whether it's blue jeans, you know, a denim skirt, and of course a denim jumpsuit. So there again, this is a boiler suit, but I can show you how you can, again, transpire the seasons or transition, you know, between one season to the next. And one way is just to pop a blazer over this uh, boiler suit, the denim and then add a uh, maybe a kitten heel. You could actually have stilettos if you know, you're know you you're still feeling spry enough to wear those, but a pair of heels really jazzes it up, as does the blazer, but you can also take it off, take the blazer off and take the heels off and then just pair white sneakers, which are on trend this year. So those two really, they're a little bit more casual jumpsuits Again, I love to have a jumpsuit because it's very similar to a dress. It's one and done. You don't have to figure out what's coordinating, you know, what color schemes, you know, all the things that uh, separates uh, can challenge us with. So just think of a jumpsuit, one and done. And you can also get a dressier one. So I love this one. This is from last year from Talbot's. It's polka dot, has cute little flutter sleeves on. Perfect, you know, for a Mother's Day brunch or a little elevated uh, daytime gala. Uh, you can, again, put a really fun belt on it. You know, you can, you can really play around with your accessories and really get uh, mileage out of your jumpsuit. So 
I know it's a little bit more challenging to go to the bathroom. You may have to build in a little bit more time, but I absolutely adore a jumpsuit for spring. Okay, my next spring essential is a moto jacket. And I actually had a video just a, a month or so ago where I shared how to wear a moto jacket uh, three different ways. And there are lots and lots of moto jackets out there. The faux leather, the vegan, the actual leather, and an array of colors. Uh, but recently on the blog, I trotted out this beautiful uh, shade of blue uh, faux leather moto jacket. And guess where it's from? It's from Walmart. Yes. And I cannot tell you how many compliments that I have received and how many of my readers have actually purchased this uh, jacket and have come over and just said thank you because it is so well made and it is absolutely beautiful, especially for spring. So I love this shade of blue. It goes again with um, all of your neutrals because really blue is a neutral. So, you know, you can pair it with your whites, you can pair it with your greens. You can also bring in some very vibrant colors as a, I will showcase with this beautiful animal print blouse, which is also uh, from Walmart. And look how beautifully they pair together. So I would really encourage you to get a moto jacket. It's in my mind, it is a, an iconic classic wardrobe staple, but perhaps this blue one is, you know, a little bit more trendy because of the color. You can go back and just get, you know, your, your tried and true brown or a beautiful black. Uh, I have both. And I am telling you, especially when we are again, transitioning from one season to the next and temperatures get really, really tricky. A jacket is absolutely imperative to have on hand. And a moto jacket is really one that's a little bit funky. It's a little bit trendy and a whole lot of classics. So I would encourage you to add a moto jacket in for that third layer that's absolutely perfect, not only for warmth, but for style. My next spring essential is footwear. And that's because I received so many questions about a comfortable pair of shoe to wear. So guess what I'm going to share with you? It is the humble white sneaker that I've been wearing since a kid. And I used to wear Keds, you know, white Keds. We would get them, you know, in the springtime, you know, closer to summer and they, they were canvas. Beautiful, pristine. And then, you know, by the end of the summer, even though they'd been washed a gazillion times, they were a little worse for wear. So I'm going to share with you a pair of white leather sneakers that are actually very easy to keep clean. And one of the secrets that I use is that magic eraser that you can get at the grocery store. You can just come along and you can just get any, you know, scuff out of a white sneaker. So these are Stan Smith's and Stan Smith is a very iconic uh, sneaker. It is, it's been around since the sixties. And my favorite is the Stan Smith that's all white, but then it has the green tab on the back. Uh, but for a, just a little bit more versatility, just go all white. I, again, I'll have that linked up down below. But sneakers go with so many things and you can wear them with your blue jeans, you can wear them with shorts, you can wear them with dresses and skirts. The list really is endless. So if you are looking for a comfortable yet versatile sneaker, go with a white leather sneaker. And my favorite is Adidas Stan Smith every time. And my next spring essential is the Mighty T. And yes, t-shirts are absolutely perfect this time of year because we are, as I said in the opener, we are tired of our bulky sweaters and we're ready to go lighter and brighter. And t-shirts allow us to do just that. Of course, you want to have classic colors in your t-shirt collection. So that's your whites, that's your grays, that's your blacks. But don't be afraid to veer off and have a little fun, have a little whimsy. I love graphic tees. I like, uh, you know, whether it's, um, you know, it says like, you know, ice cream on it or whether it, you know, says love on it. Uh, I love a graphic tee. They look absolutely darling. Tucked underneath, again, a moto jacket. You could have a blazer or a cardigan. So very, very versatile. So go with the classic colors. Uh, don't be afraid, you know, to put a little whimsy with the graphic tee. But of course, there's always stripes. Stripes are always, you know, perfect, especially this time of year because spring and the nautical look really go hand in hand. 
So go ahead and, you know, throw some stripes in there, get, you know, get some short sleeves, get some long sleeves. You can get bright colors. You can stick with the traditional, uh, you know, whatever really suits your fancy. So make sure that you have plenty of t-shirts in your closet. And, and there again, there are also lots of different varieties. You can get a crew neck tee. You can get a very attractive V-neck tee, which, you know, looks attractive on, on all of us. You can get the boat neck tee. So there again, classic colors, classic necklines, but don't be afraid, to, as I said, to throw some whimsy in, get some stripes, and you will be good to go all spring and summer long. And my last spring essential is an A-line skirt. And many of you might be thinking, oh no, skirts, I don't look good in skirts. And I've become very casual, especially this past year. But I'm telling you, a skirt is very comfortable to wear, especially when the, you know, the temperatures start to uh, heat up. And an A-line skirt is flattering on every single body type. Yes, which is a win-win for all of us. And I absolutely love to have skirts on hand because it's just nice to get out of your, uh, your shorts or you know, the joggers that we've been wearing or you know, even our dress pants. It's just really a nice alternative. And as I said, an A-line skirt is very, very flattering. So once you, you know, zero in on one that you absolutely love, don't be afraid to get it in different colors or different patterns because I promise you, so easy to pair with that closet essential, uh, the classic t-shirt uh, or a button down. So lots of versatility with an A-line skirt. I personally love to wear them, you know, with a, with a block heel, you know, so this uh, skirt that I'm showing right now, so it has, it's, it's orange and I have just a beautiful blue tee with it and then a block heel in a metallic shoe, which uh, acts as a neutral. Or you can just get, you know, a really fun pattern, do some pattern mixing as this next outfit is. So it's a floral skirt and then I have a striped tee on. But honestly, don't forget to be a little bit feminine, be a little bit flirty and bring a skirt into your wardrobe. Don't you just love this time of year when our days get longer, the nights are shorter, the trees are in bloom, and yes, our wardrobes lighten up a little bit. I hope you found some inspiration today. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to uh, leave a comment and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.